Let's bring in KBW head of U.S. Bank Research, Chris McGrady, with names that should be on your radar heading into 2024. Chris, what's your favorite? Hey, John. Um, so we're still market weight, the, uh, the U.S. Bank Group. We moved there uh, a year ago. Um, really, into 2023, we thought earnings were at, are at cyclical highs and cycle highs. So we moved to a market weight. We obviously went through quite a bit of stress in March. Um, throughout the year, we've cut numbers 25%. And so valuations are really cheap going into 2024. So we're picking our spots across a, a variety of themes. So what's your favorite name? And uh, while you're at it, tell me about the KRE, which is right knocking on the door of 49, which would be kind of recovering from that area that it fell down into back earlier in the year. But it, it's had trouble breaking through and staying through. Right. We've seen a lot of volatility throughout the year. But if you step back, Banks have underperformed the S&P by 30% since last December. So the, the broader market's gone up, the banks have gone down, and we've seen a 30-point relative underperformance. And so what, we, what we're what we looking at is really a question of, uh, is this enough? Has enough been priced into the group? And we think uh, our analysis shows that there's a really strong correlation between the direction of earnings estimates and the direction of the stocks. We think the top-line net interest income pressures from the spring have largely abated, which is, which is a good thing. We do, however, think there's a risk to the cycle with credit normalizing higher. And so we're taking a cautious stance um, on, on the group. OK, let me move to large cap for a moment. You like Goldman Sachs. Is that you know, truest and key corp, too? But first on Goldman, when hearing more about deal activity picking up, that's a big part of what Goldman does. Is, is it a call on that or just the consumer issues that they have being largely out of the way? Right. As a firm, we like Goldman. We think capital markets are poised to rebound. And really, we've been in a recessionary environment for capital markets and investment banking for almost two years. So with clarity on interest rates, we've seen stocks perform better. We've seen rate expectations come down. That's all healthy for capital markets. And around tangible book for Goldman, that's that's one of our top picks. Why Key Corp? Key Corp, uh, yeah, they, caught, they got caught up in a lot of the, the drama from March with, with interest rates moving up and capital levels moving lower. Uh, we think Key Corp is, is uniquely positioned. They're going to get book value growth as some of these losses come back into capital. And there's a real strong ramp in the earnings over the course of 2024. Between the first quarter and the fourth quarter, we think earnings will grow by 70%. So there's a peak, uh, really an improvement in earnings story at Key. I want to rattle off some of the small and mid caps that you like. Webster Financial, Columbia Banking, Pinnacle, Prosperity, Valley National, Enterprise, Amalgamated. Is there one that represents why you like that group of them? Sure. Let's, let's go to Webster. Webster's the name that I follow. Um, really, the call is the, the market's mispricing the return potential that this company can produce. We've done a lot of analysis on what the normalized ROE for this company can be in the industry. We think their structural ROE is north of 20 percent. The stock sells for seven times earnings. Uh, we think the stock is, is mispriced because of outsized credit concerns. We think as you go through 2024, that risk will get uh, repriced higher, and that's one of our faves. In the financials, two things I wonder about that could affect all this, you tell me. Consumer debt, you know, credit's been stretched, and office on portfolios and some uh, regional exposure to those. How do you think about those two things? Sure. I would say unemployment and the consumer are things we're watching closely. We've seen a strong labor market, um, but certainly the consumer is something. Credit card debt is at a high level. You're right. Um, you know, more broadly, we think um, you know credit is something you got to watch more carefully uh, this year. What about the commercial banks and uh, and that office portfolio issue? Sure, office is is um, is a well telegraphed risk. We've been talking about it for the better part of a year, really, with the return to office uh, dynamic that's played out since COVID. Um, the good thing is, office is a proportion of the balance sheet is is pretty manageable. Most banks, you know, sub five percent of loans, so it's a manageable risk. We're going to have to go through a reset period. Uh, but certainly the banks are, are well capitalized and they can get through that.